rose to green But I know how to crack that peanut There was never any question of If I'm ever thrown in the glove And when it fits, I'm gonna wear it Cross my crazy heart and swear it I see the lights glow After I got through with Sondheim, I asked myself, why am I doing this? Love is the answer. Which brings us here today. There is no greater joy than when the son we have brought into the world stands under the chuppah with his beloved and prepares to begin a new life with the one he loves. Rising sun hits the sky, see it open before us. Take these hopes, hold them high, every step takes you closer. When we don't see eye to eye, I promise to do my best to see things through yours because they've already shown me so much. When your heart sings, I promise to do my best to listen and to harmonize. When your heart hurts, I promise to do my best to mend it. And if I am powerless to fix the problem, I promise to be there with you and to be there for you. And that together we will somehow make it to the other side of whatever life has thrown at us like we've had to these last couple of weeks. Getting to the place where we could stand under this chuppah and feel joy has not been easy. <laughs> but despite the tears in my eyes right now, I am so happy. I am so happy we chose this. <laughs> and now may these be the last things that are ever broken between you. Awesome time. Weddings are about love and joy. While this one isn't undiluted joy, it's still a wonderful celebration of love. Rob and Bet are so perfect for each other, and we love them both so much. You got what I'm looking for. You got everything that I want. My sugar and gold. Once I got a piece of this ecstasy and heavenly bliss, I'm back for more. And that love is only deepened and grown because we love Rob like he's our own. He and Benjamin could not be more perfect for one another. And on behalf of our entire family, we could not be happier. Give me some more. I took him aside and jokingly asked him if he could do me a favor. He looked at me quizzically 
as only a 20-something can do. And then I said, could you just bring me home a nice Jewish boy? Lo and behold, here we are. So let's wish a huge mazel tov to Rob and Dan, because love is love is love. I'm worried what I say will pale in comparison to a professional writer. But how hard could writing be? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some more Your parents today have no greater joy than being able to witness your marriage. Not only to the one you love, but to the person who fulfills you, your one true soulmate in life. We know, all of us here know, how good you are for one another. What a wonderful, caring, and trustful relationship you have. Benjamin and Rob, you bring your parents, your family, and your friends a great deal of nachas today. And when our eyes they finally met I vow to kiss you when I leave and kiss you when I come home. I vow to make you and our relationship a priority in my life and decision making. I vow to say I love you every day, multiple times a day, and mean it. I vow to care for you when you need me and build a life with you that we both can thrive within. I vow to say I'm sorry when I'm wrong and resolve conflicts when they arise with patience and understanding. I vow to support your dreams and your well-being, and most of all, I vow to build our life together based on love, compassion, and lots and lots of fun. Every week, we would walk back to that apartment, the same place I would eventually have that meat pie epiphany. <laughs> and we'd stop at the top of that little hill on Kodak Drive, so you could gaze at the Los Angeles skyline, and you would always say how beautiful it was. Every single time. <laughs> you would look, and you would say it. And I actually used to get a little annoyed, <laughs> because I was jaded. I couldn't see it. And then one day, I did. Ben, you opened my eyes. You opened my heart. You are my whole heart. And now, what I can't see, what I can't imagine, is my life without you. No, I could write a thousand stories of all the times I fell for you. No, be too much, it'll always be not enough. You couldn't close the door to my love for you, not even close, not even a little bit, not even at all. <laughs> Yeah.
Ben, you are the best choice I could ever make. I promise to choose you every day. And one last promise, no more bangs ever. <laughs> I don't need to look forward to building a life with you. Ours is already fabulous, but I am looking forward to building on what we already have. Ben, you are my best friend and the love of my life, and I am so excited to finally get to call you my husband. Yeah.